Hello, and thank you for watching this video. My name is Thor Giddings, and I'm a senior solutions architect here at AWS. And today I want to show you just how easy it is to use our Amazon ECR Elastic Container Registry Service to store your Docker images using Visual Studio. Amazon ECR is a cost-effective, highly reliable, highly durable way to store your Docker images. Let's get started. So here is my Visual Studio environment. I went ahead and installed the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. This free toolkit will make your life as a .NET developer easier when using AWS. It allows you to easily interact with AWS services and resources without having to leave Visual Studio. Additionally, I have set up an AWS profile that maps to my account and specific set of permissions. So the solution that you're seeing is a simple boilerplate ASP.NET MVC application. The first thing I'm gonna do is right click on the project, click on add. Depending on your Visual Studio configuration, you may have one of two options. You may have an option that says add Docker support, or you might have an option that says container orchestrator support. In my case, I have container orchestrator support. So I click on that, and then it asks me to select a container orchestrator. I'm gonna use Docker Compose. And what this is going to do is it is going to create the necessary Docker Compose files to run the container. So if I go and look at the Compose file, I can grab the name of the application. And I can see if it has built my application and assembled the image, which it has. Uh, the container is ready. So in the AWS Explorer, I go to the Amazon Elastic Container Service. I go to Repositories. Then I right click and I hit Create Repository. I'm going to give it the same name as the service in the Docker Compose file, which is Simple MVC App. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see I have that as a repository. If I double click on it, I get this window. Inside the configuration window, I can go ahead and click on the View Push Commands link. And I'm using the command line interface. So I have AWS CLI installed on my machine and configured for the same profile. So I'm going to copy this first command. I'm going to go into my command prompt. I'm going to paste in that command. And this is going to return back a username, a password, and the URL for the repository. So first of all, I'm going to copy the password. You can see that the username is AWS. So if I go into the project, select the project, right click on it and hit publish. I can pick a published target, in this case, a container registry, a custom one. So I select custom, I hit publish. The username again was AWS, all uppercase. The password I have copied to my clipboard, so I'm pasting that in. I go back to the command prompt to get the URL that it gave me for the repository. So I copy that to the, to the clipboard and I paste it in for the registry URL. So I have the URL, the username, and the password. I go ahead and hit save. And what this is going to do, it's going to build my code, it's going to assemble the image, and then it'll start uploading it into Amazon ECR for me. So you can see it's going to push up all the different layers that my image needs up to Amazon ECR. And depending on your network connection speed, this could take anywhere from you know a few seconds up to several minutes uh, if you have very slow network. So we'll just give that a second to finish. Okay. So now when I select my registry, I can actually see that I have an image in my registry. 
And it's really just that simple to get an image off of your local machine and up into the Amazon ECR Elastic Container Registry service with Visual Studio. I hope you found this video informative and learned something. Thanks for watching.